So occasionally you will find a prospect that you call and they say, well, I didn't order anything. Well, let's explain why this happens and how to avoid it. So why would a prospect say they didn't order the booklet? Well, the prospect fills out the form on the internet and they forget. How can they possibly forget, you might be thinking. Well, what websites did you visit two days ago? Do you remember? Do you remember every one you visited? Did you fill in any forms then when you visited any websites two days ago? Are you certain you didn't? So the point we're making is people forget things that are insignificant. So it is not a significant event in somebody's life when they're on the internet, they see something that interests them, and they fill out a form. It is not something that they think, oh, I filled out a form, I can't wait till I get this information. They have other things going on in their life, like, you know, uh, their grandson uh, fell off his bike and is in the hospital. Uh, their daughter is getting foreclosed in her house. And a million other problems and issues that it's very likely they don't remember filling out the form. And so they might say to you, I don't remember ordering anything. So let me ask you, what did you have for lunch on Monday? Unless you eat the same thing every day, you probably don't remember. And these prospects are just like you. Now, every prospect is a legitimate request. We have proof. We subscribe to a service and we pay a lot for it to a company called Active Prospect that verifies the genuine authenticity of every prospect that comes into your account. They take a screenshot or a screen video of every prospect filling in the form. So we'll show you what that looks like. Every prospect that comes into your account is genuine and authentic. So please do not assume without the data that we ever provide you prospects that are not genuine. So we pay quite a bit of money every month to a company called Active Prospect for their service called Trusted Form. They give us a certificate of authenticity for every single lead. This one happens to be from Facebook. So they tell us, here's the lead ID from Facebook. They have the time and date stamp. They have the page ID on Facebook, the form ID from Facebook, and the name of the ad set uh, in the Facebook ad system, Retirement Income Guide Lead Generation. And what they provide us is a screenshot. This is exactly the page the person saw. Here's their information that they entered themselves. Then they saw this screen, which was the text messaging disclosure, where they had to give permission to text message them. And then this, they saw this page. The only way they could see this page is because they had to agree on the previous page to the text messaging. And so we have all that information for every prospect that comes into your account. And so we have the proof. If you ever need it, it takes us a while to get these if you want us to order them. But we have the proof of the genuineness and authenticity for every single prospect in your account. Now, please stop looking at things from your point of view, because in, when you're in sales, the worst thing you can do is look at things from your point of view rather than the prospect's point of view. So y you, you making an annuity sale or a life insurance sale or getting another managed account, it's typically, that's important to you, but it's typically not the number one priority for the prospect or the number two priority, or the number three priority. So this is just not high on the list of people's things in their life. So the fact that you call and you say, uh, what motivated you to request information about you know, IRA rollovers? And they say, well, I, 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 I don't remember requesting anything. Don't be surprised. This is not a major priority in their life. And you may have to say, and we give you the scripting to use in our guide, how to follow up on your prospects so that you don't get thrown off when they say that to you. Also, never say to them, did you get the booklet or you ordered a booklet? Don't say that. That can confuse people. 
the word booklet may not stick in their head. Just use a general phrase like information. What motivated you to request information on, and don't say annuities, say request information on having a more secure retirement. In other words, use the most general words that you can because people may not remember that they requested a book on <clears throat> how to prosper and thrive in retirement. They may not remember that particular title or phrase. Just say you requested information on getting more retirement income, something very broad and general, because then they will remember that. They will remember something broad and general like that rather than something specific. Hi, Mr. Jones. I had to call you because you're a neighbor of mine here in Toledo. You were on Facebook and requested information about securing your retirement income. That's the way you open the call, and that is in detailed in our guide, how to follow up on your prospects. All the scripts are there. Don't ask, did you get the booklet? Use our script. And while the prospect may not recall ordering the booklet, they likely will recall their motivation or concern. That's why you don't say, I'm calling because you order a booklet. That they may forget. But if you say, what motivated your concern about your retirement income? Oh, well, I'm retiring in a year. And so you see, that's the kind of thing they'll remember is their general concerns or motivations, not the fact that they filled out a form and requested a booklet two days ago when they were surfing on the internet, when they also filled out a form on a dating site, and then they filled in another form to get a free golf lesson. And all these things are insignificant. Please do not expect that people are going to always recall these insignificant significant things in her life.